Hello, this is Sarah Cronenberg with Inside Childbirth Education with a focus on infant safety. Keeping mom and baby together right after birth is best for mom, baby, and for starting breastfeeding. Experts recommend that right after birth, a healthy newborn should be placed skin to skin with mom on her chest. This is one of several barriers to breastfeeding for moms to watch out for and to overcome during the first 24 hours after birth. To help prepare for the best breastfeeding experience as well as avoiding unnecessary birth interventions including fetal monitors, confinement to bed, inducing labor and cesarean surgery, the use of pacifiers or bottles, supplementing breast milk with formula and lack of postpartum breastfeeding support. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends breastfeeding for at least the first year of life and the World Health Organization recommends breastfeeding for at least the first two years of life. And whatever length of time that moms are able to breastfeed their babies is beneficial. Well, breastfeeding rates in the United States continue to climb with nearly 77% of moms initiating breastfeeding. Now, this is the largest annual increase over the previous decade and increases in breastfeeding at 6 and 12 months according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. According to that CDC report, there are also national improvements in hospital maternity care practices that support breastfeeding. However, the indicators show that there is room for improvement to ensure moms are getting the quality care that can help them reach their breastfeeding goals. One important consideration for moms is to learn about the Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative and locate a baby friendly hospital or birth center that they know will support them in breastfeeding from birth. Human milk is made to meet the specific needs of babies and it changes as the baby grows to offer the best combination of nutrients that make it easy for baby to digest and use. Breast milk benefits babies in many ways, including increased resistance to infections, earlier development of their immune system, decreased risk of infections and sudden infant death syndrome, and less likelihood of childhood obesity. In addition to the economic benefits of breastfeeding versus formula, moms can also greatly benefit in several ways, including the uterus returns to normal size more quickly and mom is able to reduce blood loss. Exclusive breastfeeding also delays the return of fertility in most women. Easier weight loss and return to pre-pregnancy weight and reduced risk of osteoporosis and breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancers. And childbirth education can help women be aware of key barriers to breastfeeding and help overcome them and push for the best birth and breastfeeding outcomes. This is Sarah Cronenberg reporting for Inside Childbirth Education.